Hi guys, so today I wanted to bring you the most amazing person I know. The, actually, all of us follow him and most of us, most of my fans know him personally. Mm -hmm. Not personally, through his videos. Exactly. And now I've, I, decided, I decided to come here today at least that I can be able to maybe meet him mm -hmm. and bring you into your bring him to you guys uh -huh. so welcome Debbie thank you so much yes pleasure to meet you pleasure to meet you too sir, mm -hmm. Actually, sir guy, I'm used to <laughs> it's all good no problem I'm used to call people sir mm -hmm. yes tell us about you a little bit okay this is David Jr mm -hmm. I'm a proud bearded boy mm -hmm. we shooting this video from our home mm -hmm. this is our gate actually okay so today Min came you are Min right Min how yes mm -hmm. so Min came to our home yesterday uh -huh. and I told her we should create a video today and we're here right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, I kept time. I'm a serial time keeper. So, and yeah, I think they be so impressed. I like about that. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Because yeah. you said you want to come early in the morning uh -huh. and you just pulled up. So, guys, I can be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. so how has it been, David? Uh, it has been good. So far, so good. Thank God. I appreciate what life is. Uh -huh. Sorry for that noise. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like a Komo's uh, uh, project. So a tuk-tuk. Okay. A three-wheeled car. Okay. Uh, it's going to the church. Oh, it's today. going to the church. Oh, today's yeah. Saturday. Today is on a Saturday and we are Seventh-day Adventists. And you go to church, David? For sure, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm honest with you. Uh -huh. I don't go to church. When did you stop going to church? But I'm a believer. I believe in God. But you can still go to church. It's not like you are restricted or you've decided not to go. It's just a choice for now. Even I don't remember when I went to church. The yeah. last time, maybe I was in class 8. Mm -hmm. but I, I think can't me remember. too. I, I hardly go to church because mm -hmm. I also work on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. So it's, I'm also on a Seventh-day Adventist. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> even I, I left my mom. I left mm -hmm. my mom going to church today, and she was like, "Are you going to church? Mm -hmm. Can't you even see her?" <laughs> I know. Yes. I know. You were telling us about yourself. Yeah. So David Junior is just a proud village boy, mm -hmm. an ordinary kid. Mm -hmm. Even you can tell how Amolu is. Uh, Guys, just simple life. In his huh? videos, he looks. You look big in your videos, but when you see him in person, he's yeah. such a tiny guy. <laughs> Extremely, you can be in these videos. If someone can confuse you to being a very, very big guy, uh -huh. I think it's because you put sometimes your camera like this, and most of the times, exactly. someone you look, exactly. but in real life, he's a very tiny person, guys. You're not the first person to tell me that <laughs> when I meet people in real life, mm -hmm. that's how they react. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, so go on. So, David Jr. is just an ordinary kid mm -hmm. from the village mm -hmm. who is so blessed for sure, and I just appreciate what life is. Mm -hmm. I'm a content creator. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, I'm based here in the village because mm -hmm. I'm doing some construction, but mm -hmm. mostly I'm always in the capital because that's where I take my studies. Okay. Yeah. And did you, did you finish your studies? Of course. Yeah. And, and, and you, when are you graduating? Uh, first week uh, of December on mm -hmm. Friday. On Friday. You're done with your attachment too? Everything. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now this may sound uh, somehow crazy because mm -hmm. people like uh, they'll be asking themselves they have been here in the village. But when did uh -huh. no when you're loved with people you are, everything aligned. So I'm done with my attachment. I'll be checking actually my uh, my letters to the university mm -hmm. in two days time from now. Maybe I'll travel uh, on Monday night. Uh -huh and deliver my letters on Tuesday. Okay, mm -hmm. that's nice. Now, uh -huh. Thank you. so can you, can you maybe a, a little bit of a tour or something? Is it okay? Yeah, I can show you. <laughs> Welcome to our Thank home. you. Guys, I want you to see everything that you will normally see on Davis. Okay. Deals. This yes. Our home. Yes. This is how it is. That's my dad. From Congrats, the dad. Hi. Morning. <laughs> morning to you. So they have been doing cleanliness here. You oh, can tell. The compound is so clean, guys. Mm -hmm though expensive to manage it's, because it, it looks like it yeah because it's huge and people have to work hard okay to maintain this environment mm -hmm. but we're not complaining okay we're here today this is not where we used to stay for mm -hmm. sure mm -hmm. we came here recently that's why i can tell it's, it's a new the, home it's a new home totally sure. it looks like it mm -hmm. and and what now how how much does it normally take for you guys to approximately mm -hmm. to maintain all this how much effort and does, does it does it also involve financial for any money of course of course mm -hmm. and also it depends on the ratio of the people who are cleaning the compound mm -hmm. but um it's good it's good just to keep the environment clean okay. at the same time it feels amazing to be at this precious compound so what motivated you guys to kind of engage in and start this journey of 
and, and, and maintaining and having such a big compound and a clean compound, ah. what really motivated you guys? Uh, I feel like uh, my parents being uh, teachers by profession, especially staying in big schools. Yeah, my dad has been working for the public for a long time okay. outside the country. Mm -hmm. So I feel like uh, that's what motivated him and also my mom too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so why why didn't you choose the path of being a teacher now that almost everyone <laughs> is a teacher? <laughs> and what Nini, what did your brother study? Actual science. Actual science. It's what, what uh, the... close to my lane. Mm -hmm. For me, I studied accounting and finance. Actual science is the same as almost. Okay, almost. What's the difference? Uh, I think we are in the same business. Uh, we are in the same school. For okay. me, I belong to the school of business and oh, okay. economics. Okay. I think it's, uh, it's almost dealing the same with thing. The, yeah, it deals with accounts. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's the, the two of you decided to kind of just go away. It's only D who stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Actually, D, uh, she wanted to study journalism, mm -hmm. but she got the influence to study education because of my parents. And now she's teachers. back to almost what she's doing is almost Imagine, journalism. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is nice. Guys, this compound looks amazing. It, it's amazing as <laughs> an understatement, even. Like, like everything is perfect. I w the house looks exactly or even better than what you normally hear. And uh, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> and, and it's, here, it's say, huge uh, for real, for real, for real. And guys, it's not, it's not even it's not even a joke. It does look amazing, guys. Look. Mm -hmm. At times I stay alone. Imagine. At times you're always here alone. Alone. <laughs> oh my God. How do you cook alone? You do everything alone by yourself? Uh, mostly because. Uh, at times there are nobody here. Mm -hmm. I cook by myself. Mm -hmm. I know how to cook. Mm -hmm. I cook. I you know how to cook. Yeah. Eh, hey, baby. <laughs> True. Well, uh -huh. and you take care of the goats. Whatever your dad yeah, is doing, those are our goats right there. Mm -hmm. My dad is taking them to uh -huh. the grazing field or uh -huh. basking. I don't know uh -huh. because the sun is out uh -huh. and people are preparing right now to go to church. I think maintaining things here or being here, like this home cannot even cannot get, this home cannot stay without a person. Some, like it must have someone. It so, needs a tough person to okay, maintain, really maintain this it. home. Because sure. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you guys are engaged in farming, you are engaged in, uh, in all ki all types, almost all types of farming, guys. Yeah, because yeah, we, probably, we have animals. Sure, we are probably farmers in the village. And remember, agriculture is the backbone of the country. Mm -hmm. So we rely purely on, on agriculture. Mm -hmm. And now, if you weren't maybe uh, an accountant and uh, and a YouTuber, mm -hmm. you'll be a farmer. Um, can I say that? If you weren't a the farmer, a business a man, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Can 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 you like go hundred percent into farming in case things don't really sure, work out? Sure, farming is beneficial. It's beneficial, especially when you do modern farming, you uh -huh. know, use of machines and stuff. Okay. Very beneficial. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, guys, guys. Exactly what he's saying. The compound just looks as a look. Yeah. Look. It's, uh, the house is here, everything is here, and I'm so proud of you, Devi. You we have good. <laughs> Let me take you along. We have cows here. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want you to be my. Okay. Right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You have so cows? Mm -hmm. We have cows there. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to D. Mm -hmm. Made it possible. She bought, bought this too? Yeah, bought these cows here for my parents. Oh, th this is a fresh and and uh, what? Yeah, they what they have names. There's a fresh and there's a jersey. Which one is a jersey? Me, yeah, I didn't do agriculture. <laughs> sure. Even in I primary. did business studies in high school. Okay, mm -hmm. this, I think it's a fresh and I think it's a jersey or something. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this is nice. Thank you so much, D, for from for having cows. At least we can vlog even about cows. Yeah. Look at how amazing they look. Actually, they look so healthy it brings and that young. Authenticity of the village, mm -hmm. you know, when you have cows here, uh -huh. when you have goats there, uh -huh. when you even when you relax, you just get that peace of mind. What's and this also, tree? Right there we have bees. Bees and the tree, I'm impressed about the tree. Which, look, this tree, it looks oh, nice. Oh, it's huge, but you know what? When uh, when it, uh, when wow. it's about to rain, mm -hmm. it always shades. green. It, it, it greens when, up. Yeah, but when it's dry mm -hmm. season, mm -hmm. it shades its leaves. Wow, <laughs> it's huge, guys. So it, it becomes like, it, it behaves like a guabab tree. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. one that shades, does not have leaves. Yeah, when it's dry uh -huh. season, uh -huh. all leaves shed. That's a lot of work. <laughs> okay. okay, let me take you along. Okay. Let me show you how my home is. 
Uh, it's a chilly Saturday. Mm -hmm. Shooting this video very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know when you prepare your videos very early, mm -hmm. and the quality is, is better. Uh -huh. so these are my two uncles here. Uh -huh. They are doing some cleanliness. Uh -huh. We stay with them. Uh -huh. And we just bless just to it's kinda an extended family here. Yeah, so like this home is actually big, even staying alone is hard. Mm -hmm. So at least we have uncles here. Hello guys. Hi uncles. Yeah, yeah, very, very serious. <laughs> As I've said, our yeah. compound is huge. Mm -hmm. At the same time, my uncles are very friendly. You've, ha you've seen mm -hmm. themselves. They are friendly, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, right here, mm -hmm. we're just trying to... How can I say? We're trying to even plant some plants. Mm -hmm. I can see a lot of trees. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So my this uncle to just be... told me we have to be careful here because oh, they yes. are kind of safari ants. Okay. You know safari ants? I, 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 saw, I saw one biting cocoa girl's legs uh -huh. <laughs> the other day. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so you have to be very careful when okay. you're walking here. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, this yard, our kettles feed from here mm -hmm. because we have a lot of grass. So that you don't necessarily have to take them outside. Exactly. So it's they always feed within here. Okay. So we have also bees around, uh, plenty of them. And do, uh, uh -huh. can't they, if you see they, from right there. Do they get wild sometimes? As long as you don't even, uh, even you don't hurt them, mm -hmm. they are very friendly. They have very never friendly. been. How they have you never been harmed. Oh yeah. my God. And I have, I have, a, I have. You a, see? Yeah. Plenty yes. of them. I see see from the right there. Plenty of them, and also we have more than a hundred beehives. Coming more shortly. than a hundred beehives. Yeah, that's the project for me. Wow. We stay with bees and bees. And are, 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 do, do you are they are do you, how do you make profits from that? Of course, it's by selling honey. Exactly. But uh, and mm -hmm. uh, so assuming like this beehive here, mm -hmm. how much honey does it produce? Uh, it depends with the season, mm -hmm. especially how the bees are fed. Mm -hmm. So. For instance, a season like this, mm -hmm. where we have plenty of maize around mm -hmm. here, we tend to get more honey compared when our maize are uh, being up. harvested or being dried. Mm -hmm. So in a good season, mm -hmm. we can harvest 10 liters. 10 liters per, beehive. per beehive? Yeah, so you can imagine. And do you have a market for all that? Ready market? Um, Okay, I just spoke about uh, the beehive right there, but mm -hmm. these ones, they are very new, okay. very new. Mm -hmm. So maybe you want to be harvesting them for the first time. And then maybe then you'll find a market. Exactly. But then honey, but doesn't, already, uh, honey doesn't even expire, does it? That's the good thing. <laughs> Guys, did you, know, did you know that honey doesn't expire, does not doesn't. have an expiry date? Mm -hmm. Doesn't. Wow. Okay, so I want to show you from here. Okay. So we have to be very careful. So at the far end right there, mm -hmm. we have uh, bees. Oh, you see that house right there? That's wow. the project of my mom. Those are almost a hundred, you say? Yeah. When you go, yeah, there are so many, and they are made by my uncle. My uncle is a carpenter. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a hey, that's that's serious business. Yeah, and the good thing, uh, we're so blessed here in the village. Mm -hmm. We have huge land. Mm -hmm. Our land extends to the far. End. You had also how can you in lamb in acres? How many acres of land do you have? Yeah, I can't estimate. There are lots there are and they're so spread. Many. There are so many. They're spread across. Mm -hmm. And it's not inheritance, it's pure hard work. Mm -hmm. When my dad used to work mm -hmm. uh, for the public, mm -hmm. he invested a lot on lands and you have to understand lands always appreciate. Mm -hmm. They never decrease. And now where is your ancestral land? That's my question for you. Ancestral land. Mia was born here. Okay, you were born here. Where does your father come from? My father comes from Kisi. So your ancestral land is in Kisi? Exactly. So how but we decided to invest here. Okay, yeah, investing. Like, yeah, I'm trying just to... Mm -hmm. Now, do you, how frequent do you go? I'm, I'm, I also come from Kisi. I don't know. Have you ever I, been to Kisi, your never. home? To where um, my Maybe your grand grandparents and all that? I don't know. Because I'd, I'd, I'd also be interested to know your I, grandparents from the other side. I don't know. Are they there? No, no, no. Oh, they are, they're not, they are there. not there. Okay, maybe that's mm -hmm. why. Yeah, I was unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> not having to be. But my mom's side. Mm -hmm. They are I there. Own, I, no, no, I only have grandpa. The grandpa. Yeah. And from the dad's side, both of them are not there. Yeah, sure. Okay. That's how life is. Mm -hmm. So just live life to, at the moment, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. And cherish uh, the good times that we have with your relatives. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay, guys. 
we are here at David's place. I came here to visit for those who are watching now <laughs> to visit him. He, he, gave me, he gave me an appointment. <laughs> and guys, I was so happy. I was so excited yesterday. I could not even believe it. Uh -huh. This is the guy who subscribed to my YouTube channel first. I was I could not. I shared it on my my community tab. Oh, he, he's, he's, as, he's more humble than you guys. He's, oh my God, guys. Those <laughs> people who are here. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a reactor, you know. Oh, wow. you, you know, I do reaction videos sometimes mm -hmm. and I support what you guys are doing here. Oh. I am trying to kind of also just, you know, balance mm -hmm. this thing because it, we can't have, be having too much, so much hate, David. No? At the same time for me, mm -hmm. uh, oh, you, the uh, safari um, No, has... no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just being cautious. Mm -hmm. Okay, for me, uh, for me mostly, mm -hmm. I don't mind what people are saying. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, if you are not doing good, mm -hmm. no one will, no talk, one will about talk about you. you. So for me, I always mind my business. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I know what I want in life. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep pressing. Okay. Even I saw um, they were crazy people. Mm -hmm. They once uh, came up with a fake picture about my car. You saw my car by yes, I yourself. Did. Yeah. But they said it's kind of, I don't know, it's scratched. Like uh, they edited the picture and I was kind of offended but I said, okay, it's all good as long as I know what I'm doing, me, I'm good. Devi, what I want to tell you is, mm -hmm. like people, these people, people will always hate mm -hmm. and not everyone will always be happy for you. Your sure. achievement, whether I'm mm -hmm. here with you, whether someone is in Nigeria or East Africa mm -hmm. or Tanzania or Uganda, there are people will always find the reason to hate you for some reason. Mm -hmm. Keep, just focus on what you're doing and I'm happy that you are, you know, as Kenyans, we, mm -hmm. are, we have thick, thick, thick skin. <laughs> That's what I know. Like you sure. cannot come here and just, just put a Kenyan down like that unless it's maybe really really directly affecting like affecting his how do we call it you it's hard to put the Kenyan down sure. so that spirit that we have that's mm -hmm. that's that to, we, we, we how, how do how how do how can I say Kenyans we don't really care we don't mind people's business most of the time yeah. we mind our business so mm -hmm. whether you come and abuse us whether we do this we do that <laughs> we, we don't stick and mm -hmm. i'm so happy that today you have this thick skin don't sure. listen to naysayers and people who just find a reason to hate True. criticize and make you feel bad all the time mm -hmm. and they, sometimes they can make you even to start questioning what you're doing or mm -hmm. whatever decisions you started to make in life mm -hmm. you know don't don't even do that exactly yes Actually, that being said, uh, previously I was a victim of circumstance. I was feeling bad how people they used to see me, but I decided just to be alone and focus mm -hmm. about myself, mm -hmm. and it worked out for sure. Mm -hmm. I decided even to even to change my environment, go far away from home and do my thing, and for sure it worked out. Mm -hmm. And I decided even to keep distance from the friends that are even pulled me back mm -hmm. and it worked for and it sure. worked for you it worked for sure i can testify to that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's so nice guys <laughs> i'm so i'm so proud of you as a devious a person yeah. I'm so proud of what you are doing, you guys. What, whatever all of you guys are doing out here, yeah, it's not, sure. it's not, it's not easy for anyone. Mm -hmm. And for you, even to, for us to even, to, for you guys to even to draw the attention. Do, do you know? I call this place a sacred place. <laughs> I call your a sacred place. Don't step on. Oh, the elephant. Mm -hmm. I call it a sacred place because whoever comes mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. for some reason, even mm -hmm. if he has not met Devi or Marwa or sure. or or, or Dimwango, mm -hmm. they tend to grow. You know, exactly. just mentioning your name, mentioning the Virginia, <laughs> mentioning uh, Dimango, like uh -huh. so for some reason you grow like me. Uh -huh. I haven't, it's the first time I mentioned, and then I'm meeting you. Wow. But I normally use your name uh -huh. to even just grow my channel. But uh, it's because uh, our fans are very genuine. Uh -huh. We have a strong, solid support uh -huh. from our fans, uh -huh. for sure, for uh -huh. sure, yeah. And I think they that's say amazing. thank you. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for always supporting these guys. Uh -huh. Thank you so for supporting Devi. Thank he's, you. He's a very, oh my God, I don't have what, like, I don't know. Like, I just mm -hmm. called him, for example, I came here. I just called him. He didn't even ring twice. And he was like, oh, you're here, I'm coming. That's just how easy it is. Guys, stop yeah. complicating and making mm -hmm. people's lives hell, you know. <laughs> you know, stop it, really. Stop finding a reason to hate, you uh -huh. know. And focus on the good side of life, you know. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Something else you want to tell me or show me that I haven't seen? Ask me any question that you feel like. <laughs> oh my God. As long as I'm in a position to, to answer, mm -hmm. I'll do it with honesty. With all honesty. Sure. Why do you want to build your house? You say? Uh, and are you building it right now? Yeah, you should come to my construction. I've already started. Down here? No, 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 no. Uh -huh. The other one. building What happened to this one? The one you were supposed to build your personal home now, your okay, home. Your okay, let me, okay, let me explain this. Uh -huh. Okay, for me, I had. Um, 
this dream to build my house within here. Okay. But uh, because of uh, the advice from close friends mm -hmm. and also my parents, mm -hmm. they advised me I should first invest on myself mm -hmm. because we already have a home here. Mm -hmm. And remember, um, okay, I don't believe in inheritance, but they told me I already have a house. Mm -hmm. there, there's no need for me to build the other one in which... Um, I don't know if you are understanding I understand. It. I get it mm -hmm. totally and completely. So I felt like I should invest first. At the end of the day, you'll mm -hmm. remain with this property. Exactly. So there's so, no need of hurrying or trying to... So I felt like I should invest first mm -hmm. and also build my future. Mm -hmm. And remember the future is unknown. You never know You never know what will happen. Yeah. You never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, and, and what else did I... I wanted to ask you something and it just kind of slipped my mind. Uh, <laughs> wh wh where do you see yourself in maybe in the next five years? Okay, for me, I'm always hopeful. Mm -hmm. I'm optimistic. Mm -hmm. Like uh, five years from now, mm -hmm. I'll be a successful person. Oh. I'll help a lot of people in my community, okay. change uh, people's lives. Mm -hmm. And that's my purpose in life. That's your purpose in life. You feel yeah. that's what you're born to do? Yeah, mm -hmm. and for sure, it's on our line. It, for sure. We've seen it by from your uncle, from your grandparents, and even just from people like me who come just show up Let here. me tell you, let mm -hmm. me tell you. Mm -hmm. We have good, amazing people out there. Mm -hmm. I can testify to that. Good, amazing people out there. Imagine mm -hmm. someone who you never met uh, sending you closer half a million. I swear, oh my I've been doing construction there. You've seen for yourself the for last my few videos. months, yeah. So we have good, amazing people out there who are willing to help others, mm -hmm. who are ready to make others uh, successful in life. Mm -hmm. We have good people out there. And for me, I'm very grateful. Mm -hmm. I got real, real honest people who mm -hmm. they have really trusted me. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate. So thank you all. I appreciate you all. It's humbling. You people, you changed my uncle's life. Mm -hmm. Even not only my uncle, but even uh, my grandpa. Mm -hmm. In which event today I will go to visit him. Mm -hmm. So it's humbling. For me, I'm grateful uh, you made my grandpa smile. You know, mm -hmm. that all that matters in this life. Mm -hmm. Especially for him, mm -hmm. there are good memories that we've shared with my grandpa. Mm -hmm. Especially even driving him on my car. Mm -hmm. It was priceless. And also renovating his house. Mm -hmm. Oh, for me, I'm grateful. <laughs> yeah, sure. So thank you all, guys. That's such a humbling statement you mm -hmm. made there. Guys, mm -hmm. I, I, what do you think, really? I I don't know. Me, I'm a very emotional person, by the way. Sometimes someone can talk like this, and I feel like, like um, I don't know. That's why I get excited. Like yesterday, I was so excited mm -hmm. to see you. Mm -hmm. I was ex I was just excited to be here mm -hmm. because of, I don't know. I find myself to be very emotional, especially mm -hmm. when it comes to good stories, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I don't know. Yeah, and this is not where we used to stay, actually. We yeah. used to stay in just a tiny, humble home. Mm -hmm. You can go check our videos. Mm -hmm. It's evident there. Yeah. But when I, when, when I come here, and even at times I just sit down and relax, mm -hmm. I just say thank you, God. So what inspires you each and every day? Uh, poverty, for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm always scared to go back <laughs> where we are. Oh, God, I poverty always, is bad. Poverty, it's... Uh, mm -hmm. Even... It's bad for Lacking, sure. like you waking up, you know you can't afford even the basic uh, things. And no one can associate with you, especially when you are down. Mm -hmm. That's the fact, mm -hmm. even here in the and village. How, how, how much has changed since now you're a bit, I can say you're in a better place right now. What, how people are treating you then and now? <laughs> yes. hey, that's a good question. Well, how are people treating you then and now? I have to be honest with Please you, be. for sure. Yes. Uh, previously, mm -hmm. no one could come to our home. I swear, no one could come to our home. No one could say hello. Okay, they were a minority. A few could say hello. A few could come to our home. But um, it was bad treatment for sure. And that tells you success dictates a lot. When you are successful, you command respect. Regardless, you are young, you are uh, old. Mm -hmm. When you are successful, you command respect. Mm -hmm. That's what I've learned in life. So life has changed for sure. The treatment we get from the village, the respect that people have, it's different compared to three years to ago. Three years back, the line. That says much, guys, about how people are. You know, it says mm -hmm. so much. It mm -hmm. it speaks a lot. You mm -hmm. know, 
I don't want to even to add to that. <laughs> Whatever you say, that's just, how life Those is. are facts. Yeah? That's how it is. Mm-hmm. Success commands everything. Mm-hmm. Despite when you are young, despite your looks, mm-hmm. uh, people just give you respect because you are successful. Because you are successful. Mm-hmm. For me, even uh, but I know... do you think it should be the case? Mm, no, 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 no. It shouldn't be like that. People should be treated equally despite uh, their background. We should interact equally, not about the materialistic things and stuff. Yeah. So you mm-hmm. can, you can say most people just when you have that, if you can give, when you can give them or they can they can benefit from you a little bit. They mm-hmm. want to be associated with you. That's the fact. Those are hard facts. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But when you can't, people kind of try to <laughs> <laughs> distance themselves away from mm-hmm. you. Like poverty, they mm-hmm. distance themselves away from you. That's so true. Sure. You know. That's how life is. That's how life is, and it's very even, sad. Even about love, you mm-hmm. can get any person that you want, especially you are. And financially stable. You can get any girl or woman any, or man you want. Any girl, any man that you want. Yeah. As long as they are financially stable, mm-hmm. it doesn't uh, even how you look like. Mm-hmm. As long as you are financially stable, <laughs> you are things, good things to go. go. I swear. I can that's so sad. That. That, that's Very so sad. sad. That's so how sad. the society is today. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Okay. Guys. What do you think about that? You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let us get in the comments. What do you think about below. that? That that I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's quite a sad state of affairs. So mm-hmm. can we? Okay. Anyway, let's. let's <laughs> <laughs> I've been lost for words. So, uh-huh. where, where, so where is Congress Mom? Is she around today? Ah, uh, she's preparing herself to go to church. To go to church. Mm-hmm. She is a believer. Oh, <laughs> actually, both of my parents, mm-hmm. especially on Saturday, mm-hmm. even they don't work. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, feeding the goats mm-hmm. with their food and going to church. But the good time to interact with my mom is mm-hmm. on a Sunday. It's on a Sunday because from Monday to Friday she's, she's at work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, what, what, what does she think now? What now? I know your parents are 